Hey, this is Andrew. In this video, I'm going to show some of the common ways Next UX is being used in the development process. So the first way is by taking a screenshot, dragging it into a canvas, and then cutting things up, rearranging things, as I did for the login page of the Chrome extension, the login view of the Chrome extension. So I basically took a screenshot with the built-in Mac OS um, screenshot capabilities. I literally took a screenshot and then dragged it in uh, and then cut it up and rearranged things and added elements, as you can see. So I used text tool to add that. This was a screenshot from the login page. Um, this is text. And then I added comments and then shared this via public link with the development team to then quickly implement this and this is now live when you log in uh, to the Chrome extension. Um, so again, I use the scissors tool to basically cut things up, um, rearrange things, add elements to quickly uh, update a design, add features to a design, and then share it to be implemented. Of course, it's not pixel perfect, um, and it would probably take you know 30 minutes or an hour to reconstruct this design and make it beautiful, but most of the time that's just not required, uh, at least in my experience, and, and kind of hacking something together quickly and then sharing it is enough to then have it be implemented in code. So another way uh, is with the login page and the uh, uh, reset password flow I created by first going to the login page and then using the Chrome developer tools to add CSS, add styles, uh, change things, uh, and then capture with the Chrome extension to then further add graphical elements and text and then add comments. So I did just that. The login page looked a lot different from this and it was um, implemented uh, about a week ago. Um, and this was the process. These, um, I, I added this logo here. I uh, added the background and uh, the Chrome development tools. And then I annotated um, the changes so this could be implemented properly. Then I, take, I took elements of this to create the reset password flow. As you can see, this is a large background that I created with the rectangle tool and got the right color. Um, and then added in uh, different fields, created this button, um, and basically iterated uh, towards the right flow. And then, it, and then I used the draw tool to quickly just draw the different uh, stages and, and the overall flow of the reset password. So it's obviously not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it gets the point across very quickly, much quicker than I could have in another prototyping tool. So another way that Next UX is being used is to visually brainstorm. So these were all features that I had categorized in a Word document, and I wanted to rearrange things and uh, kind of visualize the different features that I had. Uh, so I, I copied and pasted uh, each feature and rearranged them and drew lines between them to see how things connected. And this helped me brainstorm. In the future, I'll probably create a, a, a flow diagram that will make this process a lot easier and a lot more beautiful. But for the time being, I mean, this was, this was very helpful, like creating an affinity diagram. And then uh, the last way that I wanna show is adding, uh, creating, capturing a screenshot behind an authentication layer. So when I say that, if I just enter in app.nextux design here and start from URL, that's gonna probably pull up the login page or sign up page. So if I wanted to capture this full page um, that I am logged into my account, I am authenticated, I can do so of course with the Chrome extension, hit add to next UX, it will capture a full page screenshot, which I can then add an annotation to point out a bug or quickly um, cut things up, rearrange things, add text, graphics, um, images um, to really refine something. So uh, another interesting way to do this is to capture multiple pages. So let's say I wanted to capture the 
canvas page as well as the dashboard page. So I can do that by clicking multiple pages, clicking the dimensions that I want. In this case, it will just be the desktop. Um, and then I hit capture page and this will generate a full page screenshot. As you can see, it's selected here. And then I can navigate to, to the dashboard page to then capture the dashboard page and then add this to a canvas. Um, so both screenshots will now be added to a new canvas on different pages to then be further refined and annotations added. Uh, so as you can see here, here's the dashboard, here's the details page. So if I want them just on one page, I can copy. So I just hit Command C uh, on my keyboard for copying and then Command V to paste. And now we have both uh, screenshot, screenshots here and I can you know further customize it and add elements and, and then of course share via email or public link to get the point across. Um, so those are some of the ways that Next UX is being used. And again, I uh, really love to hear any feedback that you have making changes to the app um, just about daily. So uh, I'm really looking forward to building something that you love and use every day. Thank you.